Hello, just want to give you a look at the installation of our Furious FPV True Diversity Receiver. Comes in a nice little box here. And we have the unit itself. And the first thing you want to do is remove this. And notice where I'm grabbing from. I'm grabbing from all the, the edges here. Just the most, the best place to grab it. We take off our Fat Shark cover. Line up your pins. And press it in. I avoid putting any pressure on your wheel because it's only soldered in by a few little joints. You just work the toggle here. From there, simple as installing your case cover. And even with this, I press from both sides. Snaps right in like so. After that, it's pretty much as simple as throwing on your 90 degree adapter here. Then I like to use a nice little 8 decibel receiver here and I just I put it on there. Sometimes a wrench, gently using a wrench makes it a nice easy process. It would easily be a, a, a spin-on affair, but you can probably see that there's a little bit of a rubber gasket in there that keeps it, you know, it keeps the pressure on the actual connector so that when it's installed, you get a nice positive signal through the unit. And that's why I use this little wrench here, like so. It takes a little bit of time, but considering that you don't have to open up your fat sharks to do this, I'd say it's worth it to take a little bit of time. That's on there snug. Spit on your antenna of choice. There you have it. Furious FPV. Great product. When you take this bad boy off, once you're done using it, if you want to put it back in the case, the only thing I want to say is just grab it from both sides when you pull it off the whole unit. Um, I would remove your antennas first when I did, did so, otherwise you put undue pro uh, pressure on the antenna mounts themselves. But once those antennas are off, grab it by both sides, just like here, pull directly straight back towards you comes off really easy. You just want to do that so that you're not grabbing onto the wheel and you're not going to bend your pins that are connected to the fat shark as well as you don't really want to put any real hard pressure on uh, the antenna mounts as well. But easy as that. You saw it done. Enjoy.